Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change a mains cable on a vacuum cleaner. If, whilst using your vacuum cleaner, the power cuts out, then do check the mains cable. With the cable still plugged in and the machine running, give the wire a wiggle around, and if the power cuts on and off, either at the plug end or at the machine end, then the cable has failed and it needs replacing. Safety first, always unplug an appliance before carrying out any work. Now, I'll be doing this fix on this Auric vacuum cleaner, but the process should be quite similar for your make and model. To access the mains cable, I need to first remove the underneath of the vacuum cleaner by undoing the screws that hold it in place. To access where the cables are going, as you can see the mains cable comes directly into the machine here, the wires go underneath this cover, so I'm going to remove this cover by undoing the two screws that hold it in place. With the motor cover removed, here we can see the cable clamp that holds the main cable in place. To release that, I'm just going to take a pair of pliers and pinch the two tabs, which should release the mains cable from the back of the machine. And then you can just use a screwdriver just to push the wire down if necessary to angle it out. Now with the mains cable released, if I get a give it a little pull, I can tell which wires are connected inside. If I just pull these wires out as well, you can see that more clearly. So it's the blue and the brown here that are connected inside the mains cable. Now what I want to do, because these the blue has been crimped here, and I don't want to disturb the brown wire that goes to the switch, there is a little bit of space next to the motor where I can put a terminal block and connect the new wires from the new mains cable to the old wires inside the machine. Now the new mains cable does not come with any connection, so I'll be using this electrical terminal block to connect the wires. So I'm going to snip the brown and the blue wire and then feed those out via the old mains cable. So I'll just cut those cables now. What I'm also going to do is just strip back the insulation to expose the copper inside. Then give a nice twist so it's nice and solid and then just fold it back on itself so that it will fit nice and firmly inside the terminal block. And I'll do exactly the same with the brown wire. I can then remove the mains cable from the vacuum cleaner. Now the old cable is out of the way, I can grab my new one. Now what I've done is pre-stripped down the insulation so that it gives me enough space to feed the wires under the motor and then of course connect blue to blue and brown to brown using the terminal block. It's worth pointing out that the new mains cable the two ends have been crimped already, so I don't have to prepare those. Once it's fed through and you're happy, you can then, as I say, use a terminal block to connect the wires up.
the wires all wired up nicely in the terminal block. I'm just going to push them down the side of the motor. Keep it nice and neat. And now all I need to do is to replace the old clamps that were on the old mains cable and put them on the new one. clamp on your model it may take a little bit of squeezing to get it into position so I'm just using a pair of pump pliers to do that on this one. With the mains cable now in position, I can replace the motor cover. I'm just going to make sure that there's no wires in the position of the screw holes so they're not being pinched by the motor cover. There we go. And lastly, now I can replace the base. So there we have it, one brand new mains cable fitted to this Auric vacuum cleaner. Remember, spares and accessories for all the appliances around your home can be found on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.